Have you ever wondered what happens when you play with forces beyond your control? In this bone-chilling tale, a forbidden love affair spirals into a nightmare of dark magic and demonic possession. Brace yourself for a story that will haunt your dreams. This is Possessed by Dark Magic by Black Horror Stories. My name is Hazel, and in the prime of my life, I met this man. His name was Derek, a wealthy businessman from the area whom everyone talked about. I met Derek at a popular breakfast and lunch spot where I was a regular. This place was the go-to spot to be seen in the neighborhood, where you could always enjoy delicious food and admire attractive men. Derek was tall, nearly two meters, and slightly muscular. Not overly so, but just right. Every time I saw him with those beautiful brown eyes and radiant white smile, I secretly dreamed of him grabbing me and fulfilling all my naughty desires. One day, as I was staring at him as usual while enjoying my soy latte, Derek suddenly walked over to me. He stood next to my table and said, do you have room for a gentleman to join you for a coffee? I didn't know what to say, but I stuttered, of course, have a seat. He offered me his hand like a true gentleman and said, nice to meet you. My name is Derek, and you are? Trembling with excitement, I told him my name, and he noticed I was getting shy from the way he held my hand. I knew Derek was married and had children with his wife, which was well known in the neighborhood because their wedding a few years ago was quite the event. But at that moment, I couldn't help but dream of a night or more with Derek. As he held my hand, I felt his wedding ring, giving me the opportunity to ask about his wife, which I did. Derek gripped my hand a bit tighter and said, thank you for asking. My wife and kids are fine, but I'm open to an affair with a beautiful woman like you, Miss Hazel. Folks at Black Horror Stories, please like this video because for some reason, I got so excited Derek said this. He was tall, dominant, and a real man. Why did I choose to get involved with Derek? What were the consequences of my decision to have an affair with him? Let's delve into that now, because unfortunately, this isn't a romance, but a horror story. Days went by, and I was officially having an affair with Mr. Derek. We got intimate immediately on our first actual date. He took me to a luxurious restaurant just outside the city, and I was showered with beautiful gifts. I was living a dream, a handsome man who bought me everything, and I had all the freedom of being single since he had his wife and kids. I secretly started falling more and more for Mr. Derek. When I told him my feelings for him were growing, he turned into an angry, bossy man and said, you know I have my wife, stop this nonsense. We're having fun together, let's keep it that way. Don't ruin it, Hazel, don't ruin it. I didn't want to lose this and wisely kept my mouth shut to not lose Derek. I noticed I was losing myself in my devotion to Derek doing everything he wanted to make sure he didn't leave me. Things got spicier and more extreme in bed just to ensure he was satisfied. Sometimes I crossed my own boundaries just to please Derek. At some point in our affair, I felt like I was giving too much and getting too little. Derek became rude and it seemed like he started seeing me as his possession. Derek was also older than me, but the charming gentleman had turned into a big bad wolf who had control over my mind and body. I decided to confront Derek 
and told him that the way we were going was no longer pleasant. I've been your mistress for some time now, but I want more. Either you end it with your wife, or we stop, I told Derek. There was a moment of silence where Derek looked shocked, but clearly realized I was serious. I was determined not to let this continue, and apparently Derek didn't want to lose me either. He came close, grabbed my hands tightly in the most sensual way, only he could, and said to me, Hazel, you know you're mine and always will be, but I can't leave my wife for you. She and I have been together for so long, and then the kids, what do I tell them? Folks, I was turned on and angry at the same time. While my body craved Derek, and I wanted to throw my arms around him and jump on him as usual, my heart knew I shouldn't. I stayed strong and pulled my hands away from Derek. Then it ends here, I said, as I walked away angrily and went home. Days went by and I heard nothing from Derek. No calls, no messages, nothing. I tried to forget him, but couldn't. I found myself starting to watch him. I kept an eye on everything, his social media channels, so I knew where he was. If I knew he was somewhere, I rushed there just so he would see me. Often, he was with his wife and acted as if I didn't exist. People, we had the most amazing, nasty intercourse together. And now he acted like I didn't exist. I was furious and sad at the same time, which eventually led to the biggest mistake of my life. My friend jokingly remarked that you could bind a man to you through black magic, voodoo as most people call it, but immediately laughed and told me not to even think about it. However, her statement kept running through my mind. Is it worth it? What if it works and I get Derek back, but this time just for myself? I decided to research and found a lot of information about voodoo in a well-known social media group. There was one woman in particular who gave daily updates on how she had helped people. Should I do it? This was the question that haunted me daily until I finally decided to message her on social media. I asked her purely for information and she immediately invited me to visit her. I had to bring a photo of Derek and if I had anything of his like a sweater or shirt, even better. I was head over heels in love with this man. So of course I had a shirt of his unwashed just so I could occasionally smell his wonderful scent. When I arrived at the voodoo priestess's place, there was a tension in the air. In the back of my mind, I knew what I was doing was wrong. But folks, we've all been in love. We've all done stupid things. Don't hold it against me. But I had to get Derek back in my life. I had to sit opposite her and place Derek's clothes and photo in the middle. She performed several rituals and it seemed like she changed voices a few times, as if she was in a trance or something had taken over her. I had to listen carefully because she gave me instructions to do at home to give the spell power. She was also very clear that once I had him back, I had to return to her annually to keep the spell powerful. This wasn't cheap, but I had saved a lot of money from everything Derek had bought me so I could easily afford it. The task was quite complicated. I had to get Derek to visit me again and make sure he ate something I prepared. I was instructed to save my menstrual blood and mix it into the food I served. Derek was a man, and how do you seduce a man? I knew what to do. I spammed Derek with sensual photos of myself, sometimes in lingerie sometimes without. It didn't take long. After sending several repeated photos in the most seductive positions, I got a call from Derek, a video call. Hazel, you're driving me crazy. 
I can't concentrate. Where are you? I'm coming to you, Derek said, as I watched him lustfully from the other end of the video call with my bare upper body. I told him I was going to work now, but if he wanted, he could come over tonight, and I'd make his favorite dish, and I'd be his dessert. Of course, he agreed, and so my plan was set in motion. As instructed, I started preparing dinner. I made his delicious pasta and mixed my menstrual blood with the sauce. I made sure it dissolved well and added extra flavors to the sauce so Derek wouldn't taste anything strange. When Derek finally arrived and ate, we had unforgettable intercourse. This time, it was different. It wasn't rough anymore, but tender and loving. Derek played with my body as if he truly loved me, genuinely responding to my body rather than roughly using me to satisfy himself. Derek went home, and I had mixed feelings. Did I do the right thing? What will happen now? What if Derek is spiritually protected and realizes what I did? I was confused, but also satisfied and happy, because in all those months, Derek and I had never had such wonderful intercourse. A day went by, but it felt like weeks to me. I was sad because I thought I had been scammed by the voodoo priestess since apparently nothing had changed until suddenly my phone rang. It was Derek. He was at my door and wanted to talk to me. Could I come downstairs? People, I was terrified. What was going on? Had he found out? With trembling knees, I walked downstairs, and there was Derek. He wasn't angry, but stood there with a large bouquet of flowers. Hazel, I want to apologize for how I've treated you all this time. Since yesterday, I can't stop thinking about you. You are the woman of my life, and I only want to be with you, Derek said. I wanted to pinch myself to see if this was a dream, but jumped into Derek's arms instead. I kissed him and asked if he would finally leave his wife for me. He looked at me and told me that he was going home today to tell her they were getting a divorce. Everything was happening so fast, but I was intensely happy. The handsome, successful, muscular, and tall Mr. Derek was finally mine. That day, Derek went home, and his wife couldn't believe what she was hearing. After all these years, Derek suddenly came in and told her they were splitting up, without any explanation, just because he had met another woman. His wife found this suspicious, and asked Derek to stay home for one more night with her and the children. This way, they could discuss how the divorce would take place and how to tell the children together. While Derek was in bed, his wife started walking around the house with white sage. In cultural practices, white sage is said to help remove demons in and around your house and cause them to reveal themselves to you. That night, while Derek was sleeping, he started screaming in the middle of the night. Repeatedly, he called out my name. Hazel, Hazel, Hazel. Derek kept calling out in his sleep. It seemed like he was fighting something. He couldn't open his eyes despite his wife trying to wake him up. He kept calling my name and was drenched in sweat. His wife still had some holy water from the church in the house and decided to throw it over him, but even that didn't help. It seemed like Derek was fighting in another world. After a while, Derek woke up, and his wife asked him who Hazel was and what was going on. Derek looked at her confusedly and said that nothing was wrong and that he had slept wonderfully. Don't touch me, he said to his wife when she placed her hand on his shoulder. I told you we are done, didn't I? Don't try to seduce me. I belong to Hazel now. That is my wife. 
after Derek stormed out of the house. His wife called her father in a distressed state. She explained Derek's decision and also what had happened that evening. Her father, a man in his 70s, knew immediately what was going on because he had dealt with black magic himself in the past. He suggested they go to a voodoo priest together. And because she found it strange herself, she decided to go with him. Once there, she explained what was going on and the voodoo priest started laughing. Your husband has been enchanted by his mistress. She has him under her spell now, said the voodoo priest. This was done using blood and saliva while your husband was visiting his mistress, she explained to us. All of this could be reversed, but it was also mentioned that such demons always want a price. The voodoo priest was strong and with the help of various rituals, indicated that there was one more thing to do to break the spell. I'm giving you this handkerchief. It has a medicine on it. When your husband is with you, wipe this handkerchief over his face three times and loudly declare, everything that was sent to you, we send back to the sender. You don't belong here. Said and done, which brings us back to me and what happened to me afterwards. Before we continue to the end of this story and the horror events that happened to me because of this choice, I want to ask you to hit the like button. We put a lot of effort into these stories and hope for your support. It was strange. Derek left here, saying he was completely in love with me, but I hadn't heard from him the whole day. Wasn't he supposed to tell his wife it was over and come live with me? I was confused and decided to call Derek. Derek answered, and I asked him where he was in a bossy tone. I knew I was in control now and decided to take full advantage of it. Honey, I don't feel well. My wife called a doctor, but as soon as I'm better, I'll come straight to you. I already told her it's over said Derek in a sweet voice. I was fine with that. The fact that he reacted this way gave me a powerful feeling. Hazel, you have the power now, I thought with a dark voice in my head. Waiting for Derek, I went to bed content, not knowing what was happening to Derek and that his wife had already broken the curse. In the middle of the night, it seemed like I woke up and couldn't move. My room was dark. It looked like mist was coming from under my bed and it was freezing. I was terrified, but I couldn't move at all. I lay on the bed with my eyes open and felt something approaching. I wanted to scream, help, help, but no words came out of my mouth. I felt the presence of something large, but couldn't see anything when I suddenly felt a cold wind blow over my body. It was as if something was panting and hanging over me. I couldn't move, so I couldn't look in the direction it was coming from. In my head, I started praying to God and asked for forgiveness, when suddenly I heard someone or something laughing loudly. It's too late to pray, dear. You woke me up, you gave me work, and now there's no more work, so you must entertain me, I heard whispered softly in my ear. I was terrified, and my bed was soaked with sweat. What do you mean? What do you want from me? I said in my head since I couldn't speak. Suddenly, my room became light again, and I could move myself again. What just happened? I was scared, anxious, and decided to call the voodoo priest to tell him what had happened. Does this have to do with what I did to Derek? How can he be freed because the demon has no more work? And now what? I got ready to go to the voodoo priest when I got the shock of my life. I stood in front of the mirror and saw that a large clump of hair was missing from my head. I had a big bald spot 
and saw that the hair was still stuck in my brush without me having felt it. Upset, I arrived at the voodoo priest, who said with a cold look that the curse had been broken by his wife and another priest. How could you let him go home, said the voodoo priest to me. I stood stiff and asked anxiously, what's going to happen to me now? Am I going to die? The voodoo priest stood up and said he wanted nothing more to do with this. I only know that demons want a sacrifice, and if they don't get it in time, you will be the sacrifice, said the voodoo priest with a sinister grin on his face. What had I done? This wasn't worth it, I thought as I ran out of the house. Where should I go and what should I do? I didn't know what to do and got in the car to drive home. Once in the car, I was driving on the highway when the same thing happened as during the night. I stiffened and felt the presence of something large and felt cold shivers running over my body. I couldn't do anything and watched as I drove my car into a pole and lost consciousness. After a few hours, I woke up and was in the hospital. I opened my eyes and saw worms crawling all around me. It was disgusting. It was filthy. And among those worms, I saw a large, scary figure sitting and laughing at me. What do you want? What do you want from me? I screamed through the room. The person or figure in the room stood up with a grin and repeatedly said, return to sender, return to sender, as he disappeared into the mist of the room. I was now certain. This was the demon I had used to bind Derek to me, and he had now been sent back and wanted a sacrifice from me. I knew immediately that I couldn't do this and that it was my choice, so I had to pay for what I had done. To this day, I am harassed daily by this demon and suffer severe discomforts. I can never go outside because if I do, I start bleeding heavily, so much that a pat doesn't help. I can't keep food down, and I keep dreaming of a figure that is bullying me. It literally feels like I've landed in hell on earth. I deeply regret what I have done and have never heard from Derek or his wife again. I can't work, can't leave the house, and I'm afraid I will be evicted any moment now because I'm also behind on rent. I hope my story of my obsession and my step into the dark side of magic will be a warning to all of you. Never meddle with forces you cannot control. We close with the saying, every evil you do will haunt you. With that, I want to thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting horror stories.